Hey there, everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you a little trick I learned while I was building uh, a rather large spreadsheet. It's a trick where you can add a floating summary box onto each of your tabs. And the idea is you have different tabs with inputs. And you want to see, as you're at these each of these tabs, how your inputs are affecting some broader metric. Uh, call it unlevered return, for instance. And rather than scrolling back to your summary tab, you want to be able to see that instantly. And that's what this floating summary box is about. Now, what the, the model you're looking at here is a little project I'm working on. Uh, it's essentially uh, a DCF in Excel. It'll do uh, virtually the same thing that Argus does, only this is in Excel. And you'll notice that I have different input tabs. All these blue tabs here are inputs, debt, expense categories, our market leasing assumptions, other income, etc. Right? And as I, as I was building this, I thought it sure would be neat to, in this corner here or somewhere to have a floating box that as we made changes, we could see how those changes affected uh, our returns. So I'm going to show you how this is done. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find an, an empty tab. I'm going to use my raw data tab. Now my raw data tab is typically the tab I use for my data validation lists. I'm going to use it as well for this little box. So I'm just going to find some empty space where it's somewhat unimportant. And I'm going to drop in the, the items that I want in my floating summary box. Now for this illustration, I'm going to be simple with this. I'm going to, I'm going to have property returns and then I'll have risk metrics, right? And in terms of property returns, I'm going to look at unlevered return, uh, unlevered IRR. I'm going to look at levered IRR, and I'm going to look at, uh, let's do, excuse me, equity multiple, okay? And then, oops, let me drop this down. In terms of risk metrics, I'm going to look at debt service coverage ratio, and I don't know, let's do debt yield in year one. Now I'm going to pretty this up just a little bit. I'm going to indent these. I'm going to bold these. And there. So now that we have the metrics we want to update automatically on each tab, we're going to reference the cell will, where these values are calculated. So in terms of unlevered IRR, I'm just going to hit an equals. I'm going to find that property returns. Here's my unlevered IRR. There's that. And I drop it in there. Do the same for my levered IRR. Come on over to property returns. My levered IRR is right here. equals that cell. And then the equity multiple is right down there, so I can just copy that down. And then I'm going to change my formatting here, make this custom, because I'm just doing equity multiple. And there we have it. And then in terms of risk metrics, I'm going to look at debt coverage and debt yield in year one. So I'll scroll on over here click on property returns year one here's my debt coverage with you'll notice debt yield right below that so I'll just do an easy copy down and there that is and then again copy this down so there we have it we have the values they're linked to their respective cells. So anytime now changes are made to our inputs these values are going to update and then I'm just gonna build this out and make it look kind of pretty. So I think I'm going to put a border around it. Let's do a thick green border. Maybe that green. Uh, this is less important. but um, And then I will fill it with white. And Okay, there's my box, right? So this is what my floating box is going to look like on each of our tabs. Next one I'm going to do is I'm going to simply highlight this box. I'm going to do control C for a copy. So we have this copied and then we're going to go to each of the tabs where we want this to appear. So let's start with general assumptions. We're going to drop our cursor where we want it. We're going to right click, paste special. 
Then down here under other paste options, you'll notice this linked picture. Just click that there. And then when you release that, you'll notice that, okay, there it is, but this is actually a floating image. Notice, and you could drop it anywhere you want on your tab. But the cool thing about this floating image is it's actually dynamic, so it's still linked to that information. So if we come in and we have this market cap rate, let's say we, we increase it by 100 basis points, watch how this changes our returns. Now our levered IRR is 9.13, where before it was, let's undo that, 9.01%. So we see that when we make these changes, the box automatically updates. And the cool thing is we can now go, and let's just go ahead and, and uh, paste the box into the rest. I think I lost my copy, so let me come back here. Copy that. And we're going to go to each one of our tabs. We're just going to drop these in. And where is somewhat unimportant, right, for now, because later on we'll come through and um, when we do kind of our final formatting of each one of these tabs, we can determine where the best place, you can pretty much put it anywhere, right? Here, let's put it over here, which is kind of crazy, but that's what we do. And uh, here we go, I'll drop this one here and here. And we're almost done. I'm just going to put it in my input tabs because that's generally where I want to see this. Um, I'm making changes to my inputs and I want to be able to see how those changes affect, in this case, returns. The cool thing is you can pretty much put any value in here that you want to track. And then, so for instance, here we have our unlevered IRR and our levered IRR. Um, this is our debt uh, module here. Right now it's just modeling senior debt. Let's say we throw some mez on this thing. And uh, how much MES, um, right now it's adding, you know, making it 75% LTV. You can see, let, let, let's say we did, we threw 2.5 million of MES on. And you'll notice how it affected our returns. And so, and then uh, let's say that uh, our rate, though, for this MES is 8%. And you see there, that affects, obviously, by 20, per, 20 basis points, uh, the the leveraged IRR. So that is this little trick. I find it kind of fun. Um, it's really, really handy to have. If you have any questions about it, don't hesitate to uh, email and uh, thanks for watching.